Great Anima Tree, accept our sacrifice of this poor sweet colonist, whose noble sacrifice has enabled others to breathe life into this colony. Blessed be now and remember all the sacrifice of Yasmin. Uh, sorry? Yasmin won't attend you to extreme temperature in the ritual area. <laughs> No, I think there may be some other issues why Yasmin won't attend. <laughs> really coming out swinging here today in Wizard Village. Oh, God, that's really stupid. So we've got to wait till summer before we can bury a corpse in a tree because the corpse isn't happy about how cold it is outside. It is a bit chilly now that you mention it. So a lot happened yesterday, and I'll be honest, even now I feel like I haven't quite caught my breath from it. We had something like three births back to back. We still have another pregnancy on the way. We had three new... No, no, no. We had five new recruits, three of which we've kept, one of which we sent off to go and establish a city. It was Stumpy, that's right. And with Stumpy went Protein, Tram, Bunkazar, Lil, and Spartak, all of whom are volunteering to make room for new wizards in our base. But of course, they will also be making wizards of their own in the city. What are you doing? But what are you? What are you doing? Are you? Are you good? Oh God! What's happened with Bert? Now Bert's freaking out. Has he been possessed by something? You could Bert. Oh, what's going on, fella? He's okay. He's okay. He ch he's chilled out a bit. He's had a difficult week, you've got to remember. He did magically have his leg regrown, and that's probably quite a harrowing experience. And I'm only just noticing it's cured all of his scars as well. It specifically... I, I mean, I checked whether or not it did that, but it didn't say anything. Oh, shit. So can I hit people who are heavily scarred with magical regeneration? Maybe that'll cure them as well. Starry, do me a favor. Come over here and blast Rambunculus. Not in... Not in that way. That's Wildfire's job. And... Kapow? It seems like maybe arcane regeneration can close open wounds and regenerate missing body parts. It seems like it very much might cure the scars. Let's keep an eye on that. Remember, we've done that to Rambunculus. So let's introduce and have a look at our three new colonists. I don't remember their skills, their stats, or anything about them. You know what? Let's rename them too, because I think we want to keep these ones around. They've all got pretty good genes. Without further ado, we have Delior Dread, Lonely Sag, and Oggy Korgra. Uh, you were the Altexian. That is awesome. Steadfast, diligent, student, greedy, and giant. Able to use oversized weapons. That's fun for a guy who's uh, effectively like a, like a wizard warrior. We'll have to build you one of those. What are you good at, my friend? Um, not a lot. Artistic. We could definitely do something with that. He's also got a bonus of science and minimal meditation. Damn, you're cool. We could do a lot with you. Maybe we even make him a barbarian. Barbarian, then. I think we could definitely do something with that. There you go. It's not very magical, but it still uses Psy power. It still uses magic power to do it. Then we've got Lonely Sag. Archery, melee, crafting. Crafting is always lovely to see. Pyromaniac and abrasive. Her skill set is that she is a mage. Uh, her genetics is that she's a mage. Pyromancer or cryomancer, along with some other really cool stuff there. Quick study would be awesome to get into the colony. And then finally, of course, we have Daylor Dread, the Scarless and a man so magically sensitive he was able to put back his magic power that was cut off. And of course... The mission critical table of resistance. You are... Oh, you're a gourmand. You're very good at cooking. Oh, we could definitely do something with that. Then he's 65, so I'm not putting too many eggs in the uh, in the day law basket. As a reminder, they always get one chance to start their family. If they fail, that's it. They're off the they're off the wizard project. He very coincidentally did, did just run entirely out of meals. So I put him on cooking. You're on crafting. Then we can find something for Korgra. Um, I guess I will go for artistic. We do the dedicated artist. Take Goose in off of it. Then the two youngest in the colony haven't really got anything we can do with them yet, but they have some incredible genes that I'm very much looking forward to doing something with. We're going to build everybody arcane weapons, and I'm not going to lie, I might even replace the Staff of Bert, because that thing has done more damage to our people than it's done to the enemies. But then, of course, we need our Mystic Forge, 120 Jade. Or I suppose we could just use this, uh, now that you mention it. Atmosphere. Oh, wait, have we not got Wands Research? Well, stop wasting time on military maces. We haven't got friggin' wands, you weirdo. Uh, arcane weapons. Oh, we do. Where do we craft them? The other weapon is a grimoire, and the only thing that came up was jewelry, so I think we're probably gonna need jewelry first, which would make sense, given that you make it out of magic jewels. I'm gonna send out a trade caravan, because we need lots of jade. We need jade for the granite wheel. We need jade for the furnace. How's this for a flex? We send Goosen on the golden dragon with a couple of gold muffalo to go out and do trading. Well, they haven't got any jade, unfortunately. They do have this stuff here. Look, 
focusing tomes. This book enhances psychic sensitivity and neural heat dissipation, granting the world a massive boost in psychic power. So I guess we equip it and it just gives like, yeah, like big, big benefits. But bear in mind, if they haven't got a wand and they haven't got any other weapon, or, or say they're like a uh, pyromancer, cryomancer, electromancer, one of the more uh, aggressive types of wizard, that's going to be awesome though. Try the bog like see if they've got any jade for me. Hello, fellas. Uh, ooh. <gasps> Fertility and darkness fruit. Yeah, it does tend to work that way. You're right. <laughs> oh my god. Reimplanter fruit. Been reading other people's playthroughs and stuff they've been doing in this mod pack, and someone got a gene that lets you eat other genes from corpses, and then when they ate all those genes, the kids were able to inherit them from the guy. So, that, so that's like uh, that's like a win condition. Let's keep an eye out on some of these magic fruits anyway, because if we give it to the right person, it will become a rare mutation, and then there's like a 50% chance that their they, they, they kids will inherit that, right? And it'll become, uh, become an endogene. It'll become part of their bloodline. So that's something definitely to keep an eye out for. Hey, have you got a jade? Listen, it pains me in my heart, but I can't just stop progress because we haven't got the gems that we need, okay? That's a lunatic man's idea. Let's pause this damn bloody wall again. Actually, actually, it's going well. I haven't checked up on it in a while, but look at this. And besides, we've got a hard dragon scale anvil. That's pretty cool. I want to make some of these. Arcanium helmets. Arcanium staffs. Whoa. I mean, it's probably going to be a slightly better weapon than those magic books we just bought. God damn. We've got daggers, maces for the more melee focused, but still mage characters. So that'll be for your for your core grass who are going to use their, their berserk powers. Then we've got tools here too. 300 gold per weapon. Jesus. Can we mine gold? I bloody hope we can mine gold. We can't mine gold. How in... God's green earth, are we going to get enough to do that? Research finished jewelry, there it is. Can we craft the wands now? Are we still missing something? Craft the rings, we can craft the grimoires now, but we still can't make the wands. I wonder what we're lacking. Either way, uh, if I'm not mistaken, there's the deep vein mine shaft. So this lets us find, it works like a deep drill in the base game, right? We have to scan for the stuff first, which we get from this scribe table. Shenron is hunting, <gasps> Shenron went, went wild. Uh, but fella, it's going to be ice wolf. Of all the things it could eat. Why is it going specifically for Ice Wolf? It could eat our people. It could eat that phoenix. Of course it's not going to do that. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, my God. It's just going to keep going for it. But, 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 the, the unkillable, uh, mostly unkillable animal that has to die nine times. We call the Ice Wolf so that for the first time ever it wouldn't die. It's almost dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What are you doing? You, What are you doing? You drove the dragon into the river to try and animate an obelisk that's indoors. Two watts. Two watts. There we go. Grid excess of zero because this bird doesn't have any fuel in it. We've got to give it some more. Oh, uh, uh, wait. Star Reserve went from mild to debilitating. Oh, that's that other thing I accidentally clicked off when Ice Wolf died a hundred times. Oh, shit. Sorry about that, Starry. I completely missed that you were in childbirth. That's on me. That's my bad. Okay, so we've got Mystic Warrior Paladin and Scarless. Scarless, we need, need to get into this colony. We have to get it. Petition became a child. Okay. Uh, obviously, remain colonist. And it took so long, Wildfire walked away? I was about to say, and Babby is born. There we go. Oh. <gasps> Star is excited about becoming a parent has developed Steadfast. Oh, that's sick. Steadfast, hard worker, sanguine, or optimistic. They are all incredible, but you know what? Go with what the game has rolled for us. Baby Lopez. Right. Hello. Oh, I've got to rename Boris and Starry, haven't I? To be fair, I quite like Boris Sheckley. Uh, hello. Healthy childbirth. Uh, name the baby. Adam Lopez. Well, you are male, so we're going to name you something Sheckley anyway. We'll keep that. We'll keep it. I feel like it's been too long to rename them. Um, George Sheckley, Dominic Sheckley, Kyle, Scott, Mark, um, Sham Shambus. Shambus Sheckley. That's a powerful name right there. Welcome, my friend. Show me. Mystic Warrior. Ah, oh, we didn't get bloody Scarless. Now, Arco genes are the rarest to inherit, so it's okay. They could try again, and this baby can be exiled. Bog legs, please, for God's sake, have some jade. I want my magic furnace. Makes no difference, but I just want a magic furnace. Hello there. <gasps> Ooh. Dwarven grit fruit. What the hell? Small toughness, never sleep. Oh, shit. If we get that into the colony. Oh, my God. Never sleep? Metabolic efficiency in the toilet. They would be eating 
non-stop. I suppose it's probably already at the cap, though, at that point. Oh, he's still pondering up. <laughs> okay, go on, then. Go on. Oh! What's going on today? Why is everything so cursed? Beautiful. Good as new. Would you look at that? Oh, someone in the comments also said you should have renamed the second Mithril to Morthril. Ah, uh, till I have. <laughs> oh, now this stuff up here is cool. I should probably mention this. It's a, it's a type of fruit that you can feed to a dragon and it'll age them. But I mean, of course, we've got Rambuncula, so I could just walk them into a time bubble and see if it works. The real question is, who do we give the fruit to? Because it is a never sleep fruit, we could give it to, say, uh, I don't know, little little baby Shamba Sheckley, right? Or who's the who's the kid with the most potential right now? Probably Diddles, but Tisha is also very good. Extreme Meditation, Arcane Dispersal, are both fantastic, and would complement this immensely. Um, yeah, I think probably either of them are the ones I would go for. Shit, I mean, Diddles of course has the most genetic potential. I think we've just got to accept. Like you're already maxed out, right? Yeah, two two five percent. I don't think there's any downside to give it to you, and we could potentially pass it on to a future generation. So, Earl Diddles, it's yours, my friend. It's yours. A ridiculously powerful benefit for you. There you go. Rare mutation of never sleep. Actually nuts. And it doesn't count as Archotech either. I totally forgot about that. It's just insane. Of course, they can... There's a dragon eating my lady. But, 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 but. A dragon is about to eat your wife. Where is Sylvia? Sylvia, 360, walk away, please. Word of animals and stand. Ah, oh, shit. I've got some terrible news. <laughs> Run, Bert. Run. Serpentine. Okay, hold on. Hold on. You've just got to kite it for a little while longer. Oh, watch out for the brakes. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Don't panic. And kapow. Get it. Fuck it up, Bert. Careful, careful, careful. And... Oh my god, it worked. Oh, and now the dragon's gonna go and eat some spelt instead of eating my people. Vegetarian dragon. General is not our strongest dragon, but it is the coolest of the... Fuck, will you piss off? Are you telling me that spelt was enough to feed it? Okay, hang on. We'll, we'll wait on the dragon agent project for a second. Oh, shit, we haven't got enough... Oh, we haven't got enough mana. Uh, quickly, quickly, over to the post. Tell Psy focus. Oh, you can just say, uh, have anybody do that. You don't have to... Uh... You don't have to go through the menu to adjust it. There we are, there we are. Let's just bloody tame that dragon at this point. Walk away, please, Diddles. There's a very hungry dragon out there. Here you go. This dragon is proving to be a real, a real menace. It's going to chase Bert through the library. Oh, he's going to be some Betty Hill shit. Okay, it couldn't quite get through the door. <laughs> this is nonsense. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Anita's about to come through that door to feed the bird. Okay, we've chilled it out again, and now it's going for my Muffalo. This dragon fucking sucks. I hate this dragon. It's a good job we, ha we have high respect for dragon kind. Otherwise, I'd just have it hunted and killed. Oh. Oh, not my Muffalo. But you're going to have to be bloody fast. New lovers. It's Daylor and Wildfire. Of course. Shit. I don't think we're going to get enough time. I don't think we're going to get enough time, please, Bert. Oh, my God. That actually gives you XP. It's going to meet my Muffalo. Goosen, no. Goosen just hit the dragon with a hammer. Well, that's pissed it off. Well done. Oh, on the plus side, you got it off of the Muffalo, which is actually a great play from Goose and far larger brain than me. She's trying to blow up its eyes. Please stop. It's a dragon. We're supposed to respect those. Get it. But come on. This fucking guy, this bloody dragon. <laughs> We've never had so much of an issue with the dragon before. Um, we may have to blow up its eyes. She's already on it. Okay. Oh, I didn't want to do it, but we, we, we don't have a choice here. This thing's way too strong. Do you want to uh, summon an Eiling just to give Bert a bit of cover while he recharges? Go, Anita. Go, Anita. Come on, Anita. Please, my warlock friend. Boom. Okay, Eiling attacks the dragon. Oh, it, apparently, I think it is. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. Okay, go. Go. This bloody thing is impossible. Oh, we got it. We actually got it. We chilled it out. Oh, man. No! I... <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking crazy pills. I'm taking fucking crazy pills. Oh god, wildfire. We're gonna have to pull the wildfire card, I'm afraid. Run into the run into the water. That way if it Oh god. At least that way if it if it breathes fire, you're 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 somewhat safe. Wildfire, you've got to do something very sinful here. This one isn't revered. The white dragons are lesser than the true dragons. But we still shouldn't we still shouldn't relish in this. Okay, it's down. It's down. Well, that was a fucking disaster. Well done. 
<laughs> okay. Uh, Shenron, for helping out there, fella. It's currently 774 years old. Oh, God, get back there, Rambunculus. Jesus. Put the bubble there. You gotta stand in the epicenter. Does it work on... Oh, it does work on animals. Look at that. Okay, and then in theory, at some point, it should flip into an elder dragon. We got it up to 894 years old. I don't know how old it has to be to be considered an elder dragon. Get a refill and try that again. This is cool. I love doing the wizard, the wizard, wizard mad, wizard science with the time magic and whatnot. Um, should have probably left a bigger area for that, but that's okay. As long as it's not too close to the tower, we'll be fine. There you go. And then just, can I just keep queuing those up if we shift click? There you go, there you go. It just queues it up. Rambunculus, are you destroying space time again? Shenron is now uh, 1,014 years old. What the hell? Emerald deposit. Oh, that's all emeralds. Oh, and then we've got Glimmer Quartz too. That's cool. Okay, let's grab some of that. And then we've got gold. As soon as I start complaining that we don't have any gold, the game sends some. Thank you. Kids still have growth moments, even though they're in a separate settlement. Well, that's bizarre. It might be useful if we ever want to call them back. If we still have a colony wipe, we want to bring them back over here. I'll be honest, I'm going to put that dragon out of its misery. We burnt out both its eyes and then gave it a, an enormous amount of brain damage. That's a sad moment, but it's even sadder just to leave it there to suffer. Now we have a drought as well. Oh, for God's sake. Well, we've got a, I mean, we've got that volcanic winter still active, so we weren't able to grow any crops anyway. Oh, shit. Wands are under noble maces. We need to know soon, because we've actually got the goal to be able to craft one of these friggin' weapons now. And in fact, I've had them working all night tirelessly to get us that gold ore. We might go out and do a little bit more trading with Goosin in a second, so that I can make some fancy wands for everyone. I'm keeping our paladin Starry on meditation, because she's way too valuable to have doing your boring standard intellectual job, whatever research. I don't give a shit. So we've got her with pain block pain blocks awesome because as it says lets people move if they've taken grievous injuries if they're missing a leg they can get up and walk away stabilize will stop them dying instantly and then we've got uh, a shield which is like your like your shield pack so that's going to be awesome when we come up against more people with charge rifles hold on you remember what i said we need innate magic because then maybe the kids will be able to meditate when they're like from the moment they turn into a child they can it's true. It worked. Turn him into a fucking necromancer. Oh, dear. Um, that's very sudden and extreme. Necromancer, rogue, druid, occultist, xenoseer. Jesus. Seems like you've, you've inherited a lot of your mother's evil warlock nature there, my friend. We don't have a necromancer. To resurrect people, you need to use a finger. That's right. Fall into a six-hour coma. Jesus, okay. Well, I mean, if Rambunculus dies of other means, we can, in theory, now just bring him back. Same applies, of course, to the Ultra Wizard. Damn, this kid's been hitting it hard. Let's go uh, group meditation. Word of fear, make the enemies flee. God damn. You've just, like, upped our offensive power by a uh, shitload. Now that I think about it, other than Wildfire, what offensive wizards have we got? Like, Sylvia has level two telekinetic, and that's it. So, Korgra could be awesome. Daylord could be awesome. I mean, shit, lonely with a magic spell. Someone said the Cryomancer is a uh, real good to give a go to. Oh, god, yeah. No, I remember this from uh, certain cursed Christmas series. Breathe ice, frost ray. There you go. Rambunculus is refilled, so it means it's time for more dragon magic nonsense. Oh, careful there. Don't blast yourself, for God's sake. Yeah, there you go, little dragon. You take a nap. I'm just going to keep refilling Rambunculus from the, from the anima pillar over and over and over. Oh. <gasps> I cannot believe this has occurred. It died of fucking malnutrition. <laughs> I can't believe it happened. <laughs> that was the animal that Rambunculus was linked to, if I'm not mistaken. I feel like at this point, Shenron is a much, much better candidate to link their lives to. Bert owes Rambunculus a lot at this point, okay? If it wasn't for Rambunculus's meddling, Bert wouldn't have had the the, the three three kids that he's had, right? They've got to be good friends. They're long friends now. You know what? They've got a mutual respect. They're not necessarily great friends, best friends, but they certainly do appreciate one another. As the final gift to Rambunculus. Two time-affected beings linked together. 1,254 years old. Oh, God. Oh, that's a lot of time bubbles we stacked up there. Jesus. Listen, rule of cool overrides it. Even though, yes, uh, if the dragon dies or if Rambunculus dies, we lose a dragon. This is still cool. Part of Rambunculus' personality imbued in the dragon. Oh, beautiful. Another level for Starry. She is going to be... 
<laughs> no pun intended, really the star of the show as we go forward. Skip Shield. Awesome. Exactly what we need to deal with these enemies. Blessed Burt has finished Noble Maces. Finally, we can make some wands. Now, to be fair, these wands seem very, very powerful. Obviously, Wildfire's had one since the get-go. Oh, we can make staffs. Oh, hold on. So the staffs and the wands, all the magic weapons are 300 gold apiece, no matter what we craft. Right, let's keep this popped open. How much gold have we got? 403. We've got enough for a single magical weapon. Listen, I'm not going to replace Rambunculus and Burt's weapons just because they are very flammable and very damaging when people just don't have a weapon. I mean, for Christ's sake, Melton's got machine gun. <laughs> Goosen's got his hammer. He's also the blacksmith, so that's awesome. I would never swap that out. Um, who's our next most senior wizard? Honestly, I guess Melson should probably have one. That's also Goosen's wife, so we probably want her to have a good weapon rather than rather than one of those sinful weapons. Uh, let's let's go for like a ring for it, like an emerald ring. That's sick. Goosen. Cannot make enchanted emerald ring. Underskill required eight. Oh, you need intellectual. Crafting eight. What the hell? Wait. Even though Goosen is our artificer, he's actually shit at crafting things. Magically, he's great, but using his hands, he can't. It's Wildfire that would have to do it. Pyromancer of running the forge, perfect. Makes perfect logistical sense, so I'm not I'm not going to complain about that uh, at all. This room, I guess, will throw down some, like, art benches and stuff like that. Yeah, I was going to say we have some somewhere, because we could do with making some more dragony statues to make it feel a bit more at home. Uh, let's go ahead and slap that right there. There you are. There we go. Perfect. Thank you very much. That should help with some of the heat. Don't know how with two braziers and a furnace, it's still minus two. There we go. Now it's finally heating up in here, and now... Unfinished Emerald Enchanted Wand. Then afterwards, Goosen will have to work his magic. Oh, literally. Word of progress. Hold on. Experience will... Uh, target will experience double research speed and intellectual skill for five days. We could just give the... Uh, the um. Th there, there is another one, isn't there? A bard has it. Word of something something. Word of, word of inspiration. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. If we get a crafting inspiration out of that. Again, it takes a colony. We've got to work all these wizards together to make this happen. Come on. Crafting inspiration would be awesome. Shoot frenzy. Bollocks. It was worth a go. Melton, it's your turn to meditate, my friend. As a gift, and because this is something worth testing, we're talking 300 gold. We're not going to get that again for ages, so this is worth going. Let's try it a second time. you got to test it. And... Oh, nothing. Nothing. It doesn't work. Okay, fair enough. It was worth giving it a go. We could sit here and wait it out, but I don't think we'll do that. Especially when Goosen can just enchant the quality. And depending on his psychic sensitivity, he can enchant it to a higher and higher level. So his maximum quality right now is excellent. Maybe just have faith in Wildfire. This could come out masterwork. You never know. It didn't. <laughs> okay, what quality is it? Let's have a look then. Uh, poor quality. Oh, Vervin. Enchanted Emerald Ring. That's cool that it has a... A, uh, a name, though. So it's got an ability. Chanting with a lot of battle magic, this weapon can sometimes release a, a weak blast of magical energy on enemy contact. Ooh, okay. By the dragon's power. Enchant, damn you. And normal. There you go. And then we'll hit it with a second one. This is right after all. There you go. And then one more. That's all we can do for now. That's still pretty good. That's still very, very good. Outdoors? I'll put a door on that. Oh, yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> Why is it so cold, I wonder? Melton, cheer up, Melton. Your friends put all this effort into a ring for you. Grumpy, grumpy Melton. There you go. Oh, God, when it's holstered on her back, it looks a bit insane. Oh, <laughs> that's insane. <laughs> okay, and then, um, I guess we better go test it out. Building this area, don't forget to actually test the, give the, give the weapons a legitimate test. Yeah, let's try that. Ooh, that's got a massive AOE. Holy shit, that seems good. Oh, uh, yes, the classic remote naming system has decided that one steroid wasn't enough. How about a second one? Obviously, I'm going to undo that. We can't have two steroids. Steroid hopes that by doing meaningful work, you can save the world. Um, Listen, I'm not sure I need meaningful work. I need people to fill the gaps in this colony. I'm going to have you do persuasion and uh to be honest maybe some combat skills wouldn't hurt if we're actually making weapons now oh shit psychically hypersensitive oh my god natural meditation would be great because then with the anima tree we could grow grass and with that we could get basically free side levels every now and again iron world is also nuts but how can I say no to hypersensitive? Now, this bench supposedly lets us attune ourselves to underground ore, which we can build our, our mineshaft on top of. 
don't think it's working. I've had uh, Rambuncular set to uh, high priority scanning for a long, long time. There have been times where I stopped building, and even now he's not doing anything with it. The hunt for gold isn't over because we can get 640 gold or every whatever it is, quadrum or whatever, from our settlement, which is effectively one magic weapon a season. Oh, look at that. It's actually one to one. One gold ore to make one gold bar. Not that that makes a huge amount of sense, but that means we can get two weapons per season. So this is fine. We've just got to be patient with things, realistically. Desperate kingdom. Are you riding on a... What is that? Well, we're riding on a fancy turkey. It's finally time. It's finally time that wildfire spawns a little wildfire. Get him. Fuck him up, wildfire. All this time, she's done nothing but... Oh. Okay, I mean, it wasn't amazing, but it, it certainly certainly wasn't bad either. Get him. Get him. Send him to hell. Send him to hell. <laughs> Look at it go. Regular fireball. Regular basic fireball. Kapow, take that, you big bitch. Run. She's on a dragon, so I mean, good luck stopping her. This is her moment. She finally gets to do something scary. Yes! You're in a lot of trouble. These wands are strong. But to be fair, if you're hit three times by a magic wand, you kind of expect people to die. Well done. Total wildfire sweep. Great work there. Move back off. Back off slightly. Back off slightly. I'm going to be honest. I think we've got a lot. Oh, I think we've got enough people at this point. But you're a druid. Natural meditator. If we get that into the colony, everyone. Oh, God. You're a druid as well. And you've got Scarless. Regeneration. Whoa. More like Bertha Clements right now. That was a flex. Going in on a golden dragon and just blowing them up like that. Jesus. And she's 21. And the only people who aren't in a relationship in the colony are Corgra and Deadlift. So this could be, this could be a great moment. Not gonna lie, the food situation's getting a bit questionable here. It's been volcanic winter for so long. When did it start? It's lasted 32 days. 32 days doesn't seem that long, right? It's half a year in game. You gotta remember, they're aging like 10 times faster, 15 times faster, whatever the hell it is. It's been dark for years. Children have been born and they have never seen the sun. I don't think steroid has ever felt daylight before on his little tiny necromancer skin. More importantly, everybody's starving. Have we got something out there to eat? There's a silver dragon called Thenax. I'm not eating a dragon. I'm just saying it's there. Um, we've got a thrombo we could eat. We've got no, we've got, we've got no qualms about that. A brain exploder. Amazing. <laughs> Pretty sure we could turn that into into our the art bench. Anyway, I've already done it, done it with quite a few of them. There you go. Let's go eat those bobini, and we'll blow up a thrombo so that we can eat that as well. Mister became a child. Well, that's Shambus. I'm putting you back to Shambus. Remain colonist, obviously. Please stop. I don't like the random nicknames. Drive me mad. I keep forgetting who's who. There you are. Oh, more dinner. Oh, hello. Well, that worked out quite well, didn't it? Brain exploder, please. Wildfire. There you go. That'll last us a day, but maybe. Ah, oh, stop. Stop! Good God. What is that you're eating? Like raw fat? Oh. Well, let, there. There are some meals now. There are some meals. We've got a, lot, we've got a couple of meals. Fucking alpacas eating my meals. Get out of here. We could probably butcher some... Oh, I would say butcher some animals, but apparently not. And we feel nothing for Thrombo here in, in Wizard Nation. Dragons are one thing. Thrombos, we don't care. We, we couldn't give less of a shit about. Ah, oh, Bertha. Hello there. We want to get her as soon as possible so she doesn't age too much while we are... Just messing around here, building this bloody wall. Deadlift is already 26. How old is Korgra? Korgra is going to need the clock rolling back, I think. And you know what? We're just going to roll it back on Daylor too, because he is 70. He's like a, he's like an old ass man. He's 67. He's an old ass man at this point. So let's give him a, let's give him that chance. That's not age, right? Got to remember to, got to remember to press the right button. Um, hey, don't walk away. I wouldn't say there's anything wrong with the flag. I, I, clearly, it's a parody, and regardless, it is a silly video game flag, so uh, I think some people are overthinking it. However, I've had some new flag suggestions for Wizard Colony, and I'm going to let you decide whether or not you prefer them to No Steppy Weppy. Uh, so we have uh, Flag 2, which is uh, whatever this is, designed by our one and only Roman Candle. Some sort of um, accurate vexology flag, because, you know, that's what we're really concerned about. We've got uh, number 3 is uh, Wizard America. <laughs> I'm not laughing at the artistic skills in that. Oh, that was, uh, that was Taff. Thank you, Taff. And then finally, we had this suggestion more recently um, that I think may please one or two people. Uh, simply, simply that. Uh, simply that one. <laughs> Terribly confusing. 
terribly confusing. Is Rambunculus a traditional Polish name? Oh, go! I have great plans for today. To think they said we were going to lose a whole generation to wall building. Turns out when you put 10 people on it simultaneously, it goes pretty bloody fast. Tari Perganan and a growth moment for Bertisha. Hello, Bertisha. What would you like to do with your life? Spend more time watching others growing food and pretending to fight machining gods. Okay. Herb law and... Uh... <laughs> uh, cooking, that's to do with food, I think. And then maybe construction. Melee, to fight machining gods. Uh, that's, that's fine. There you go, you're all good. And then, uh, I think you'd like to be psychically sensitive. I just get that strange impression, Batisha. Look, 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 there's barely any left. Granite castle wall. H how much more have we got left to build? 103? Oh my god, you said it was going to take a generation, you big bitches. Yeah, like a whole generation working at once. Yeah, okay. Every single person is helping out with the wall in some way, so it makes sense that we did that pretty damn fast. Obviously, we've lost a lot of a lot of progress on the research. They could have spent a lot of time meditating, and uh, et cetera, et cetera. But I think this is fine. This is a necessary evil as far as I'm concerned, and we apparently got our items turning up just then. I think they sent it on the back of this enormous red dragon, because I don't remember taming another. Goodbye, red dragon. Thank you for, thank you for bringing me the gold. Where is the gold? I think that dragon just robbed us. Dragon, where's the where's the gold? Show list. Dragon. <laughs> dragon, that was 600 gold, dragon. Where have you put it? Is it in someone's pocket? Is someone hauling it? All maps? All filter? Any filter? Everyone? All? Items? All? Ah, oh, and the new caravan types are working. Awesome. They can occasionally turn up as an LTX trader and sell us, well, Arcanium trader, of course, as we wizards know it. Occasionally sell us some... Uh, Arcanium to craft their own gear or just sell us some magical stuff. This one is an alchemist trader. Half Colossus fruit frame. Frame fruit. Half co half Colossus. As in they are enormous, I assume. Oh dear. This is getting dangerous wizard dangerous magic. Strong fruit. Who is it I gave the other fruit to? Because I'm just going to give them the rest of it. Oh, I haven't got anything to sell them though. Anita, Danny, up with you. Up with you, Danny. Oh. Go, that's it. Go, 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 wildfire. Go, 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 wildfire. Let's throw down a stockpile so at least it counts as us have actually having some silver, huh? Uh, low, and then any uh, silver, silver, silver coins, silver, whatever. There you go. That's fine. Is that, I presume that's what you're making. Oh, she's going to put it in a stockpile now. No, no, just, 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 just eat. Just eat. Just throw on the floor. There you go. Is it, uh, time is of the essence here. Otherwise, we can't get... Oh! No! No, 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 no. Go, run, 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 run. Goosen, goosen. They're already gone. I think the trade is already gone, aren't they? Ah, oh, bollocks. Are they gone? Yeah. Oh, for God's sake. That could have been so cool and you ruined everything. Well, this is a lesson, okay? Let's get a bunch of silver always in the stockpile so that we can... We, we have ample currency. Oh, season time skip? Do you think that'll just, like, move us out of it? I don't think that'll work. Do we not have, like, a meteorologist? Commander, command the weather to leave. <laughs> okay, you know what? <laughs> Forget it. Maybe Ramunculus can try for us. Huh? Should we try season time skip? Dangerous magic. Might break the wealth log. Tends to any skip time. Most of the ashes settled. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. It was a, it was a necessary evil. Whoa, whoa. Whoa! Uh. Okay, so it doesn't brute force the time skip. It actually physically moves you through the days. Good. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Thank you, Rambunculus. I appreciate that, big man. Apparently, one of the mods that we've got allows us to auto cast certain buffs. I'm kind of curious how that works. Look, using ability word of productivity, you will auto cast the buff. Who are you going to use that on? You're going to use it on Boris? Boom. Are you bothered by that? Because it did say it was a hostile action, but are you fine? It's, I guess it's only hostile if you use it on an enemy pawn. So we could just have Deadlift auto-casting all of these useful, useful buffs. And shit, I wonder if Goosen's enchant quality could work. And Mend as well. Passive wizardry across across the realm. Using ability Mend on Wildfire. What's he going to fix of hers? What's even remotely broken? Possibly her trousers? And boom. It was her trousers. Oh! Passive wizardry. You love to see it. Melton, especially. Word of joy, word of word of uh, inspiration. We can't auto cast that. That's unfortunate. Word of serenity. All the soothes. I'm going to assume it's not necessarily an intelligent choice. Yeah, because you see, Daddy's pretty good, and she's going to go and blast Daddy there. So is Goosen. They just, she just got, they, Daddy just got double teamed by a married couple. I noticed his wizard aura from across the obelisk. You are not going to believe this. 
But I think the wall is complete. A beautiful wizard wall. I think it's finally done. I think it's done, and I think it's ready. I think the days of mining granite non-stop for Anita and Daddy are over. I think we can take half the colony off of construction now. <laughs> no more delivery being top priority over just about everything else. This is a thing of beauty. Let's just go ahead and get rid of those entirely, please. I'm happy with what we've done today. I think we've, I think we've done a lot. I think we've done a, a great amount. Did I say arcane weaponry? I did. Technically, I wasn't wrong, right? Rambunculus has got his stick. Let's just draft everyone up. There you go. Uh, Rambunculus has got his staff. Ram uh, Wildfire's got a magic wand. You've got your hammer. Melton's got the ring. Bert's got his uh, staff. But don't forget, we did buy those two books as well. Sylvia's got one because she does combat damage through her magic. And same with Lonely. Anita and Daddy have got pickaxes, which I suppose we can swap out now we finish the bloody wall. I think we only need, realistically, like, four more weapons. Obviously, some sort of enchanted big axe or hammer or whatever for Korgra would be awesome. And my god, Wizard City has never looked so good. Now I can focus my tasks on, on, on other things and not an enormous wall that they're probably just going to bypass with drop pods anyway. Thanks for, <laughs> thanks for joining me today. Hope you've enjoyed a little wizardy time. God knows how I'm going to edit this into an episode because I recorded far too much. Thank you to Blizzard4337, Dexter Low, Cesium, Mr. Scratch Couch, Eckley, Nextar, Cryom, Drea, Onzangle, Variants, Chex, Beep Boop, The Busserous Boy, Mike Freeman, Wazzy, Harpio, Sanguine Shadows, Adram, Jakey Fish, Isolated Entropy, C. Clark, Kuka, Koopa, Suka, Cumber, Lupus, Sandwich Tina, Somber Apoc, and Elias for their support at the executive producer tiers over on Patreon. Thank you for joining me. Again, soon there will be Crusader Kings 3, basically whenever I have time. Uh, lots of content coming out currently. I've already got three series on a go. So a fourth might stretch it, and it'll probably just diminish the quality of all the others. So let's just see. Let's just, I'm, I'm, leaving, it, I'm leaving it up in the app now, especially as the mods still need to update. So thank you as well to Skylar Drake, Negakure, Green King, Bucky, Jahihi, Rubber Rubby, Robotimus, Luna Meyer, Berthold, Mr. Yeti, Korgra the Craftsman, Mithridates, Timbo Slice, Blemish, Halo, and Thomas Holt. Thank you. Good Dragon Day to you too.